Bonjour, today let's have a look at French pronouns E and O and let's have a look how do we use them in French. You must have seen them in sentences and often wondered how to use them or what they are. To start with, let's have a look at E. So basically, E is a pronoun referring to a previously mentioned place introduced by a preposition such as A, which means to, O, which again means to, don, which means in, and she, which means at someone's place. E appears before the verb. So, let me give you some examples to make it even more clear. The first example is, Tu vas à la bibliothèque aujourd'hui? Which means, are you going to the library today? So, we would answer this question in English as, yes, I am going there. So, what you basically did? You replaced the library with there. So, you put it there at the place of library. The same way in French, we would replace la bibliothèque with e to avoid a repetition and the sentence would be, oui, j'y vais. As I already told you, that E is going to be put it just before the verb. And why there is an apostrophe between je and E? It's because there were vowels preceding each other. So, we have to remove one vowel, E, from the word je and put an apostrophe at its place. So, let's take another example. Tom et Alice habitent en France, which means Tom and Alice lives in France. Then we could say they have been living there since one year. So what I did basically did right now, I replaced France with there. So in French we would say il y habite depuis un an, where I replaced France with e to avoid repetition. So let's take another example. Les élèves sont-ils dans la classe? Means the pupils are they in the classroom and if you want to reply yes they are there without repeating classroom again we would say oui ils y sont repeat after me oui ils y sont one more important thing that e is also used to replace the preposition a with something verbs such as penser a which means to think about Réfléchir à, which again means to think about. S'intéresser à, which means to be interested in something. So, I know you are a bit confused. Let's see a few examples. First of all, tu penses à ton avenir, which means are you or do you think about your future? Here, as I told you, you can see penser verb is placed with an A over here. So, you would answer it by saying, Yes, I think or I am thinking about it. So, you replace the future with it. And as I told you in the rule as well, that whenever penser à, réfléchir à, s'intéresser à, verbs would be given to you, you can replace the noun over there with e. So, you would answer, oui, j'y pense. And e here replaced ton avenir means your future. So now, as we have completed E, now let's see O. Basically, you would now question, why are we comparing E with O? That's because they have same role, really. Let's have a look at O now. O is a pronoun which replaces the plus noun. It is also used to replace the plus noun with the verbs which require the preposition the such as avoir besoin de which means to need avoir envie de which means to want and s'occuper de means to deal with confusing i know so let me just give you some examples like the first one elle mange des pommes which means does she eat apples here you can see those form they with the noun apple is being used. So to avoid the repetition, we will use on. So we would say we oui, l o mange. Here the o replaced the poem which are apples. Let's take another last example. Atudle means 
do you have some milk so here you can say the form of the do is being used over here so we would answer this by saying we jean a which means yes i have some right so here i also avoided repetition by using on so i hope you are now aware about the difference between e and o i know this is a bit confusing topic just play the video again and keep making notes side by side which you can read after completing this video again so that you would carry on your revision afterwards also so this is all from my side in case of any doubt do ask me down in the comment box or we are abhi on to see you in the next video